Hello everybody, this is uh, Shadow Incarnate 6, and I'm bringing you today a game with Cho'Gath, Terror of the Void. And he is actually one of my three favorite champions alongside Swain and Talon. Uh, I, I kind of pick up Cho'Gath sometimes when we need a tank a, or a tanky character. Uh, usually I like to play him more as a tanky bruiser though, not really the tanky, not really a tank. Like, I don't build flat tank. I know uh, Hotshot kind of likes his... Um, tank build with uh, Cho'Gath, but I, I'm not really a huge fan. Uh, I, I think it's a lot, e it's really easy to be ignored if you don't land everything as as uh, Cho'Gath. If I, if I build Tanky Bruiser though, it's a lot it's a lot uh, harder to be ignored because you're putting out so much constant damage with Vorpal Spikes this attack right here. Um, I have uh, Rupture. I always start with Rupture first just in case of an early gank because that's going to be one of the only ways you can get away with Cho'Gath. That's one of his major issues is that if he gets ganked, he's really, really vulnerable to it because he has no kind of mobility to escape other than Flash. Um, so anyway, um, Cho'Gath, I don't know. I, I kind of like him. He's one of those... I always feel like I'm kind of stuck farming top all day when I play him, but I bought the uh, Gentleman Shogat skin. Hey, let me, just give me a second. I gotta turn down the volume here. Uh, oh, okay, that's perfectly fine. Never mind. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, just, I really like Shogat's laugh, so I was just kind of spamming it in chat. Um, I, uh, I, I really really like Shogat, though. The way he's designed, he's a lot of fun late game, because you just run around, you're freaking huge, and you, there's just nothing anyone can do about you, because if you're in front and you're taking out, like, all the damage, you, you will probably, you will almost always survive, because things won't do, like, any damage to you. And, um, being that tank role, I, I did kind of get a few deaths. This wasn't my best Shogath game, but Sometimes if I'm if I've got too good of a score, it's because I'm like being too careful as the uh, bruiser. So yeah, and by the way, this game's kind of old, so I may not remember all that happens in this. It's been a while since I did commentaries. I've been really focused on this game that my brother got me into, uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Um, I would record uh, instances with. Uh, me and them, I would I would record like I don't know like Red Reaper, the Red Reaper instance with uh, the Old Republic, but I don't know if my com computer can handle it. Um, this game I was facing an Amumu at top, which was a little unusual. I thought Shivana would be the solo the uh, solo top in this instance. See, that's another problem Joe Gath has is that uh, he doesn't have all that much defense early on. But of course, this case in this case. Um, since I was going against an Amumu, I wanted to get my early Catalyst first so that I could outlast him. I could out-survive him and out-sustain him. So I was a little worried that Shivana was still around because Amumu was being too aggressive, and I feel like if I went up a bit more, I might have died early, so... Nothing... Let me tell you one thing. It, it, it's not like you're not completely out of the game if, uh, if you, as Cho'Gath, get killed early, but it does hurt you quite a bit, so... I do like to play really, really carefully uh, from like level one to six because nothing hurts me more than having not that much of a gold advantage. And right here, yeah, it kind of hurts, but yeah, it's still a Moo He's not really made for damage per se. He's one of those uh, long, long-term engagement type characters. Like if you fight him for too long, he can start to really hurt. Um, that's what makes him a really strong tank. I used to use a Moomoo a, a, a lot back when uh, I didn't really care about the meta. And so, I'm just getting my, uh, I don't really, I max Rupture last. Uh, if I was going in an AP build, I'd probably max it first because Rupture has a 1 to 1 AP ratio. But um, in this case, I'm going Tanky Bruiser. I like the amount of uh, time that the silence that I... I bring about with Feral Scream. I like how long it lasts, it, the more you rank it up. And I also like that it does quite a, a hefty amount of damage even without a 1 to 1 ratio. I also love the fact that uh, that just it, it's most of my damage anyway and it's almost always a sure land. Whereas with Rupture, if I were to max that first, um, there's no guarantee that it would hurt, that would, it would hit 
immediately. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've just, uh, yeah, again, I I'm sorry, guys, for not uploading one uh, sooner. I'll actually make two today because uh, I have not made a commentary in a very long time, and so I feel like it would be better uh, made up for you if I made two instead of uh, just one after all this time. And by the way, this game, my friend Scone Thief was playing Lee Sin, and I have actually, it's weird because every time he plays Lee Sin, I'm never watching him play Lee Sin, so I never know how good he is with it. But this game he gets really fed, I don't know if it's just like, the skill of the players isn't that good or something, or what, what's going on, but, um, yeah, they have a support, uh, they have a support, uh, and wow, look at this. He just annihilates that freaking, he annihilates that ash. And I don't know where Shivana is, so I'm just kind of like, eh. I don't like how I'm pushed this far, but he won't, it's not really a sure kill unless she has red and he uh, gets a bandage toss off because I also have flash for if he tries to do anything. Um, I don't know if he, I don't know why this Amumu didn't have a regrowth pendant. I, I mean, that's something I would have done if I was going top with Amumu. It would make sense to me at least, but whatever. I mean, I guess you can start out with boots if you want. Uh, the extra mobility against uh, against Cho'Gath certainly helps. I'm actually, I, I rushed a catalyst because I just want to get that early sustain. So let's just kind of fast forward through this. I, he goes ahead and gives me blue because let's face it, I mean, uh, TF doesn't really need blue. I mean, he's got his little blue card thing. Um, yeah, and I know it kind of bothers some people when I like skip some of the farming, but I figure you guys don't really want to watch me farm. Um, but then again, like sometimes I'll skip over some really important parts. I have blue now, so I can just spam whatever I want. He's trying to like get close to me and bandage toss me, which tells me that yeah, Shivana was there. So I do die here because I should have warded, but yeah, and I get ignited and ulted, so there was really nothing I could do in that case, other than buy a ward while I was back, which was kind of stupid of me. I should have, I really should have bought an award. Usually when I go back, I'm pretty good about that. Um, I usually buy one every time I go back, to, uh, and then I go back to lane. Other than that, I mean, I mean, I could like ward and stuff, but usually I, I'd only really do that when I'm a jungler because uh, if, my, if I'm not really confident that my support will do it that much, I go, okay, you know what? I'm going to be all over the map anyway, so there's no real point to putting that all on my support, so let's kind of fast forward through this again. Yeah, uh, yeah, guys, if you're a solo top and uh, you're a slow solo top like I am, like uh, Cho'Gath, um, you definitely want to put a ward down as much as you can, because otherwise that kind of thing can happen to you. And I was, I mean, even with one death, that can still really hurt me. I mean, uh, Cho'Gath with one death is more harmed than you pe than everybody thinks, because... Uh, and then here I just kind of, I last hit the tank, the uh, siege minion because I don't want uh, the minion wipe to push too much. And my god, this TF was amazing. He did such a good job with that gank. I mean, I don't think we even needed Lee Sin. Lee Sin didn't even, I mean, Eli didn't even do anything with the Scone Thief, that's what I meant to say, but uh, Scone Thief didn't even really do anything. All he really did was show up and then... Yeah, that kind of put me back. I, I was really happy with this TF. This TF was actually really, really good. It's weird, I don't really see very many. And uh, when I do, I'm always afraid of them because I'm like, even though it's not a global ultimate, if one is missing, it will always, almost always be a sure kill because uh, he'll just, I'll, he'll be, I mean, he will stun you and then the laner will destroy you. And it's like, no, I didn't need three. And then this guy said, good thing you needed three. Yeah, okay. So totally needed Lee Sin there. No, I just needed one because I was behind. And there's nothing wrong with needing someone else to get back into the game. Right here, we're just kind of poking at each other. This Amumu was actually going AP Amumu. You kind of have to if you're going uh, if you're going solo top Amumu. Otherwise, they're just gonna kind of ignore you and then and then farm. Especially Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath late game just does whatever he wants. I don't know what happened here. I was just kind of looking at this, and they miss even. I don't know why they dived either. It was kind of weird. I was like, what are you doing, man? You're dumb. 
And so, yeah, I was just like, okay, that was really weird. Why, why is he trying to die? And, uh, yeah, I don't know how much health Lee had. Oh, yeah, he had, like, half. I was like, okay, well, whatever. I'm just doing my own thing. I'm just kind of farming. That's why I don't really like Cho, is because you can't really take... F I mean, that's one of the things, the only reason I don't pick Cho all that much is because I always feel like I'm not doing much. I always feel like I'm just a, a farming top lane. And that kind of uh, sometimes upsets me, because I'm like, oh, well, then what am I really contributing, right? And uh, So anyway, this is just me farming. I'm just kind of... Yeah, not really doing much. And Lee, I mean, Eli is just getting uh, just so, so fed. Just so, so, so fed. I mean, he's already got a killing spree. That's enough to be to make him a monster, especially since early game hasn't really passed yet. It is kind of mid-game, but not really, so I mean... And I'm just pushing, because I know that Shivana's mid, so she's not going to come down anytime soon. I was not confident that I was going to secure that, so I didn't know. So, but then I, something that people don't know necessarily when they play Cho'Gath is that when there's a little yellow flashy. Let me see if I can show you next time I eat somebody, next time I'm about to eat someone, or when someone's low enough to be eaten. Uh, when my ult is up and they're low enough health to be eaten, there will be a flashing like sunray light thing. Uh, like, I don't know how to explain it, uh, you'll have to just see it, because it's like, it'll flash around them, it'll be like this little yellow ring thing, and then you can just go, okay, well then I can automatically eat them, because then they'll die. Uh, so that's usually how I can tell that, that's usually how you can tell that you can be eat, that you can eat them, is by that, by doing that. I didn't really want to fight him, I'm just like, he's AP Amumu, there's no reason to get into that kind of confrontation, and then... Uh, just like give up your life for no reason. I don't know what my farming rate was. Uh, I went. I have 88. I have the most on my team, but not the most on in the game. Amumu has a bit more than me, but not by much. So that'll sure that will definitely change since I know that. Oh my God, they're just gonna get dominated. I don't know why they didn't see that. I was like, why are you doing that, man? Why are you doing that? They're gonna die. Yep, one of them is gonna die. And she flashed right into freaking... Oh, but then watch. Look at this. Oh, man. But then their dive just ends in disaster. It's like, they just get annihilated. And then, yeah. Ash just ensured that uh, Annie would die. That was just a disaster on their part. I don't know why they did that. Let me see how much farm I have now. Yeah, Abubu's doing a good job, but that was just because earlier I got kind of set behind. Otherwise, I'd be destroying him and farming him out. That's something you can definitely uh, have over your opponent as Cho'Gath, is you will almost always have a farming advantage over them. And uh, that's not even including the amount of gold advantage I have. I mean, that's one... That's a passive I'm surprised the pros haven't brought up yet. It, uh, is uh, Twisted Fate's passive. The amount of gold that you get from all those la uh, accumulated last hits from loaded dice. It is so, so nice. They, I mean, they bring to the attention of... Uh, they bring... Uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, they bring uh, Janna's passive to a, people's attention, but they never bring... Uh, what's it called? Uh, they never bring uh, Twisted Fates, and I'm like, why not? I mean, Twisted Fates is so good. Uh, we have zillions too, which also gives us an experience advantage. So it's like, wow. I mean, that is already giving us a huge advantage over the other team. I mean, we also don't really have as much sustain bottom lane, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, Samumu got killed by Ash, but eh. I don't remember what happened here. Yeah, I, I wanted to tell you, but I also knew they were all mid, so I was like, I'm gonna force a Mumu to come up here, because uh, that's what I do whenever my top lane goes to mid or joins his team. I go, I'm gonna push then. I'm gonna push. And uh, you're gonna have to come up pretty soon, or else your tower's gonna die. And most people will go up here, like, immediately when that starts to happen. 
um, because they don't they really don't want that uh, they really don't want uh, their tower to die and it's really weird how that works but they all get chased I was like what are you doing man what are you doing and I'm like hey dude what's up I'm like, eh, I, already, I, just, I didn't know she had her egg up. I was never told. I was never told. Why not what? I, I don't know what this guy's saying. I really don't. Why not HS Shib? Huh? What? What is he talking about? Whatever. So I just... Heat 6? Oh, why not? Oh, why not devour Shivana? Well, it's because she would have just gotten away. I did. I didn't know I was gonna land my uh, rupture on her. I didn't know. Yeah, I just that was kind of a dirt moment on my part. I'm like, okay, Caitlin, whatever. I mean, I guess you can take all my farm, whatever. Um, so shove top. Like she, I didn't know if I was gonna land my rupture. If I, I had landed my rupture, I would have killed her, but. She's so fast and so mobile that I just not. There's no necessary chance that I could definitely kill her or anything. Uh, it's kind of weird. I, I with Cho, I kind of chose very commonly. Oh my God, we just get annihilated here because we are like, hey, let's go ahead and face check this instead of actually. And then luckily I get away, but I flashed the wrong way. I don't know why I did that. I know I'm gonna die. I wouldn't have died if I had flashed over here. If I had flashed over towards my turret over here, then I wouldn't have died because they would have had to dive me. Uh, I didn't know if they were gonna go for uh, Baron at this point because I was like, they could have gotten it. I mean, but then again, Shivana was kind of low, so yeah, that was just kind of a stupid part thing on my part. Yeah, um, I said I should have warded because I should have. That was my lane, so it was my responsibility to ward that area. But now I'm actually starting to get back into team fights, even though I don't have. Oh my god! And then TF. I think she, he dies here. Yeah, he gets everything unloaded on him. But then, yeah, Zillion still does damage to everybody. So, wait, what the hell? What's going on here? What was that? Sorry guys, I don't know what happened there. It was like my computer weirded it out or something. I don't know. Uh, I was just farming top after I died there. Uh, I was kind of a team fight that just kind of culminated when we were doing stupid stuff. So Mumu isn't that bad actually. Uh, he could have really done a number on our team if... Uh... Hang on, let me see what he's got here. He could have done a number on our team if he had just built a little tanky but he didn't end up doing that so they didn't end up having a tank dude with me i'm not totally tanky either but i've got a negatron cloak i'm actually going for my early uh, abyssal scepter because abyssal scepter is really underrated for a lot of people i don't know why people uh i don't know why people don't take advantage of the fact that uh, abyssal scepter has that kind of aura that does that and it, it helps your like it helps your AP carry a lot because they're probably not gonna get it and uh, you can reduce their magic resist and add to their damage output I don't know why Twisted Fate is so behind he keeps getting caught that's the problem he keeps getting the one he keeps being the one getting caught and not me or Lee Sin instead I don't know why not <sighs> but so far Lee I mean Lee Sin can't carry, that's the problem. Lee Sin can't carry, uh, can't carry the game. So I was, I was like, well, this might be a bad thing. I didn't know if they were getting Baron or not, so I was like, I was like, I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. So, I, and then I saw Ash and I, she didn't have anything. So I was like, okay, well. Right here, I just go ahead and keep farming. Yeah, see, like, with Cho, I mean, 
That's kind of what you have to do. You just have to keep getting your gold farm up, like, all the way. I don't know why they started a team fight with me not there, but then again, Shivana was kind of stupid and, uh... Oh, man. And then that damage on, uh... No time to be even res, that, that, that was the thing. Like, I don't know why Amumu was so angry. He was, they weren't losing that bad. Like, they could actually do things. It was just that Amumu was, yeah, being silly. Like, I don't say, like, you mad or anything like that, because I don't, like, I don't know. That, that seems like kind of an inappropriate thing to do. I'm not really the trolling type. I just, I don't know why he was so angry. I literally did not know why he was so, like, bent out of shape about everything. No reason for it, really. And, oh man. Ulting on one person to professional. And since Shivana can't really chase, I don't know why she was doing that. I don't know why Amumu was chasing us so far. Like, yeah, like, that's gonna happen. There's nothing he can do about that. I really don't know why they kept doing this. They kept, like, pushing for no reason. What they should have been doing is they should have just kept defending and uh, instead of pushing all that way. Because then TF can just... If TF was actually really, really smart, he could have just backdoored. I don't know. Yeah, TF got caught again. I'm not sure why. She gets caught by the entire team. TFs, like, tend to get really... Like, get caught really easily. And then they, like, initiate on me, and I'm like, what are you doing, man? Why are you initiating on me? And, uh, yeah, for that, their tank dies. I mean, their, uh, tanky DPS dies, and I'm like... Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we all die, too, but... Yeah, and then Ash gets way too greedy and dies for it, so... Great. <laughs> Thanks for the kill, Ash. Okay. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they surrender here. Yeah, that, this is about when they surrender because I remember this is about as many. And wow. Just look at Lee. Look at Lee. Look at Eli's Lee Sin. Just completely sl destroying everybody. He's probably got, like, I don't even know how much gold he has right now. That's something I think the League should impl implement into the game is gold amount. Uh, instead of, like, People go, oh, a nice CS, man, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, CS doesn't matter if I have, like, three or four kills on you. Because even though you should be focusing on CS rather than uh, kills, I mean, it's just, there's no point to, th there's no point to what, to doing that, you know? Like, no point to bragging about CS when your gold advantage is really low. Yeah. TF liked to stay around when there was no reason to, so I was like, what are you doing, man? Don't do that. B, dude. Alright, so, yeah, and then I don't remember what happens here. I think we, like, yeah, we all B or something. Uh, Zillion's trying to bait him with his ult, and uh, Ash used her... Uh, <laughs> and then Lee just destroyed someone again. I mean, TF and Lee Sin destroyed someone again. Because his Lee Sin... I don't even know. I don't even know how good his Lee Sin is. I never see it. That's the thing. So, whatever. I mean, good game, I guess. I mean, I didn't really do much. It's kind of how I feel when I play Cho'Gath. <laughs>